Hello kids, how are you? How are you? Oh, you are doing great. Good. And how are you parents? Hope you two are doing good. Today, I'm going to talk to you about two things. Greetings and how are you? The most important question. Nowadays, we all are staying with our families. So we can use these two things. We can use different techniques to enhance the child's vocabulary. So first thing when you go in the morning to wake up your child, what do you do? Yes, you must be using different techniques to wake up your child. Do you say good morning to the child? Or whenever in the morning you see your child, do you say good morning to him or her? If not, not a problem, start doing so. And if you are doing it already, good. So when you meet your child in the morning, say good morning. In the afternoon, good afternoon. And in the night, when he goes to the bed, good night. And in the evening, yes, which I forgot, was good evening. Right. Basically, what we are trying to do over here, we are trying to teach the child that we need to greet when we meet someone. Not only that, but during different time of the day, we need to greet in a different way. So, why we only expect a child to go and greet everyone whomsoever he or she meets? Let's make it our habit of greeting the child first. The child will learn from us. The child will learn when, at what time of the day, what greeting to be used and that he or she needs to greet people. Now, we come to the second topic. That is, how are you? As I asked, as I said earlier, that it's a very important question. When we are over the phone, we ask our family members, how are they? But when we are sitting next to one another, we hardly use this word. And especially when we are sitting with the kids, we rarely use it. Because the, when the child is crying, we understand, okay, the child is unhappy. When the child is laughing, oh, the child is so happy. But we should ask the child, how are you? The child will definitely respond you back by saying good, bad, happy, not so happy, or might complain about something. At least he will use words. He will use different words. He will enhance his vocabulary. So use, ask questions. Form different questions with your child and ask questions. So not only the child is expressing him or herself, but at the same time, he's learning new words as well. And you are also able to understand what your child is going through, which is very, very important. So just limiting to few words is not okay. Just good or bad is not fine. The child will be using different words like good, very well, so far so good, or any word he or she feels like, right? So give your chance, child a chance to speak. So take care of yourself, take care of your child. See you later. Bye-bye.